Hi, I'm Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of open source CGA tool. And in today's lecture, we are going to implement an example design using open source CGA tools. So in previous lecture, we have seen how to install the open source CGA tools. We have installed EOSes, NetGen, QRouter, Magic, QFlow, etc. All these tools we have installed and we have used this repository, uh, VAZ flow repository. All right. So once these tools are successfully installed, uh, there are two designs which are automatically present in this that we can uh, use to test our installation that is if our installation is correct or not all right so first of all i will just show the qflow gui once again so uh, in the last lecture we have seen this qflow gui and how this everything looks like okay so this is our qflow gui and uh, graphic user interface and there are all the steps that is preparation synthesis routing placement etc all right so now we are going to open the design so first of all we are going to move towards our directory that is vsg flow so we will move towards cd vsg flow and let's see the list of the items so here these directories are present uh, these items are present in this directory these folders are present okay so uh, let me just yeah so these are the folders that are present and we can see here this is there is this file that is spi slave design dot csv and pico rv uh, pico r532 design uh, constraints uh, dot csv so these files are there and basically we are going to implement uh, these designs okay so first uh, to implement this spi slave design what we need to do is we need to add this command that is dot slash SG flow and SPI underscore we can use tab to autofill slave design and details dot CSV now what uh, this command will do if everything is running fine it will going to go for preparation synthesis these steps it is going to perform so let press enter and we can see it start it is uh, started working and you can see here that uh, the chip is uh, started designing okay so this process is happening and the flow is working so we can see okay it is actually completing the flow you can see this is the q router step okay post layout sga is finished so we can open the q flow gui now and okay so it did not have that file all right uh, no worries we will select this spi slave file and let's run everything once again and i have clicked on run we can see it is running and the process since i have not added any stop everything is running fine on its own mostly it takes that uh, verilog file automatically uh, from the terminal but uh, in our case it didn't so uh, we are running this again and we can see all the process are running that is migration drc everything we can see is okay if there are some errors it would have uh, failed this process okay and uh, you, we can see here it is showing project is completed so we can see till clean up every step is uh, automatically performed and we can click on edit layout so the layout is going to be opened in magic that is magic vlsi tool and we can see uh, we can have a full view we can see this is the actual chip that is the actual gds2 layout uh, that is how it looks like and we can just zoom okay we can see this is how uh, i hope you are able to see that this is how this is how all the layers looks like and these are the connections and cells and everything all right so uh, this is how we can generate the gds2 layout and in this queue flow we were not able uh, we did not change any settings uh, we uh, kept everything at default otherwise there are some settings option that we can change you can see here we can change the density the stripe width uh, the pitch area and everything okay and there are some uh, options to change different things initially we can set up the technology file 
in this column itself that is this technology file we can set so this is how uh, we can run and check that whether our queue flow is working correctly or not so about that uh, as i told told that uh, queue flow will uh, automatically take that design so about the sp slave design what you need to do is you need to go to the out directory that is out dir spi underscore slave once you go to that directory you need to uh, write the command that is queue flow display spi slave all right so once you do that then it will automatically display the final uh, this output okay so now here uh, here when you open that queue flow so when you go to queue flow okay not that queue flow gui i mean so here you can see these all three steps are completed already and when we open that display option it is showing this top level cell all right so uh, now you can run all the process and go uh, till the final process that is the gds2 so this is how you generate the uh, gds2 layout of a chip this is the design which is automatically present and everything happened automatically all right so uh, this is all for this video in upcoming videos we are going to see some more designs we will be writing our own verilog code and uh, making the projects all right so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video